your brother John was part of the negative story about mm. Bannon. Will you tell me about John and what happened to him? Yeah, John, John would have struggled with drug abuse a lot of his life. Um, yeah. I suppose he was a typical brother to me. I was the younger brother, the pest. And, and How many the years between you? Um, I would put it to say he's a lot older than me. He would, he would have, if I, I would have picked up a football to go down and see what he was doing with his mates, kicking the ball off the blocks. And, he would have been the type of brother that said, you know, get away from here if he was, you know, messing about with drinking right. and, and drugs. But um, he's shaped everything I am today is because of him. You know, um, I've seen the pain he's gone through through drugs, and that's probably why I haven't went that route and, and took up sport and, and business. And what happened to him with the drugs? Um, he moved over to he moved over to London um, to try to get away and disconnect from from drugs and the environment in, in Ballymun and. Um, Unfortunately, when you're an addict, that's what you you know. That's that's your connection. You, you don't go to a you know a college, or you don't go to you know something that you feel disconnected with. Like you know, so he went to London, and um, he connected again with Alex. Unfortunately, and he um, he passed away in 2012. You know, how old was he? He was 31. I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. That's only quite recently. I didn't realise it yeah. was so, so recently. Yeah. And how have you all been as a family since then? We've been good. We've been good. When you lose someone so close in your family, you pull together a little bit tighter. For sure. Um, but I suppose it's, 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 it kind of raises the standards for everybody, you know. When, when you lose somebody so close, you, you kind of challenge yourself to go and find ways of dealing with it. And, and I suppose when I go and, and speak to, you know, uh, youths in the area or drug addicts or recovery programmes, it's it's trying to live his legacy, because I know the type of person he was, he would have, you know, tried to tell his story to help people.